Yo guys, hands here, and this is the Skyward 55 inch Android TV. So is it any good? Let's find out. Alright guys, so one of the best features of the Skyward Android TV is the hands-free voice command. So you can actually turn on the TV with just, Hey Google, turn on TV using your voice. Sure, turn the H2O on. And not only that guys, you can also do a voice command, for example, the remote is just way too far for your reach. You can say, hey Google, play something on Netflix. Opening Netflix. Alright, hey Google, play that. Opening Netflix. Alright, sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. And you can also say, Hey Google, lower the volume down to 20%. Okay. That's very useful. You can use that uh, voice command control for your volume up or volume down. And uh, hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Las Piñas, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 87 and a low of 74. Right now it's 84 degrees and mostly sunny. All right. So you can do those commands by just your voice. And sometimes if you're very specific with a command, for example, Hey Google, play Drive by Incubus on YouTube. Drive by Incubus, sure, playing on YouTube. Something like that. But I'm going to cut off the music because you know copyrights. And for some reason, some people don't like voice command. You can always disable that by just flipping a switch on the back of the TV. So actually, this is the only control panel that you have here on the TV, which is a stick. This one for controlling volume up, down, menus, and whatever. And over here, on the bottom of that, there is a mute. So if you just mute that, As you can see, uh, the microphone on the TV will be disabled and there is also an LED indicator for that. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so now I just switch it to mute. As you can see, if I say, hey Google, it doesn't pick up my voice. Now at the back of the switch, if I turn on the microphone, you can see it changes that color and it disappears. When I say, hey Google, open Netflix. Got it. Launching Netflix on H2O. Alright. And guys, if you still want to use the voice command and you have actually muted it on the actual TV, you can use the remote over here, guys, which has a microphone and also a voice command over here. By pressing that and holding it, Hey Google, open YouTube. Hey Google, open YouTube. Open it. YouTube. All right, so you have to press this and talk closely to the microphone. So again, guys, this is the remote. It has quick shortcuts for Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, Prime Video, and your basic controls. And let's talk about the panel here, guys. Now, this is a 55-inch uh, screen display with 4K UHD, HDR support, and let's talk about the speakers later on. So the screen here has a hard panel coating. So it means, as you can see that guys, it's hard. So it's not actually super durable, but it means that it's resistance to a little of dings. Just a little, right? If you try to smash this with your fist, you still break the panel. But so far this is hard. So if you're going to wipe it out, you can do that. And it's just simple, you know. You're not afraid to overpress it, but just just be gentle with it. So that's the good thing about hard, hard panels. And of course, it has this, that glossy finish, which is great for viewing angles, as you can see here. Or I'll move the camera later on. But as you can see, guys, 
it has a very decent viewing angle. All right, guys. So now I'm shooting on the iPhone 13 mini and this has a very decent camera. So as you can see here, guys, I'm just going to uh, move around the camera here. And so you can see the viewing angle, as you can see. All right. And I'm going to do a very, very close up. So let's see if we can actually see the pixels. And now on this uh, range, guys, if we're, we're looking at very closely, you can see the actual pixels. I can see even it on my, my eyes over here. Let me just have the same distance between my eyes and the camera. So on this, uh, yeah, on this, you know, like one hand away, I can see the pixels already, but if you're, you're not going to sit in front of the computer like this, guys, right? So, if you're far away from the TV, like, let's say, like, let's count from uh, one, two, three, three feet away, guys. I can't even view the whole thing, all right? Maybe five uh, feet away from the TV, you won't notice the pixels, which is great. All right, guys, so now we're at the back of the TV. As you can see, we have a very, very thin profile. So as you can see that, that's my finger and that's the uh, TV. And over here, guys, on the bottom, you'll find this large uh, section here, which houses the speaker. And we have our power plug on the right-hand side. And over this section here, guys, you will see... Uh, we have uh, an internet, so you can plug that straight to the internet. And we have three HDMIs and we have two uh, USB port. And let me just try to focus. And we have that cable. And this actually is the new port for a sound bar. So if you're going to get a sound bar, you can plug that in there. That's the new port, so we don't have any uh, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there. All right, guys, so uh, the actual stand behind me is not included when you buy the TV. I bought that separately, but it actually comes with a uh, wall mount, uh, which you can mount it on your wall. But for me, since I have something already mounted on my wall, we need the stand for that. So if you're interested on getting a stand, I'll I can link some... Uh, recommendation down in the video description all right guys so since this is going to be played on youtube and we're just trying to avoid some copyright now regarding the speakers guys this has odd uh, dolby audio so it means it has you know much better uh speakers like having a dedicated speaker so the good thing about this guys if for example, we have IKE here. This is a new stream platform that supports uh, Dolby Audio. So if you go to Dolby and you turn on that, you enable that Dolby Audio, you hear a better uh, a better sound uh, from your TV. But it actually has good sounding speakers out of the box. If you're just streaming on YouTube, or Netflix, it does that really, really well. Now, let's just wait for the uh, Dolby Audio to, to enable here. So, right, maybe that's not working. So let's just try a different uh, video here. All right. So volume 26 something. And let's see if this supports Dolby Audio. Alright, so now Dolby Audio is turned on. Alright, so now let's try to switch it off this uh, volume here let's turn it off so it takes a while to uh, activate the Dolby Audio but this uh, I think this TV has been turned on for like uh, two days already haven't reset it 
So maybe. Alright. So that's Dolby Audio. Uh, I mean regular 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 speaker without Dolby Audio. Alright, now switch to Dolby Audio. Again, it takes a while to switch to Dolby Audio. Sometimes it's it does really quick, uh, but for certain uh, videos, sometimes it takes a while. And of course, you need to sometimes restart the uh, the Android TV. So if you have a, like you know uh, fresh uh, fresh, I mean the system is not lagging. So sometimes it does lag, but you just need to restart the TV and it goes back to its regular speed. So right now, I think it's talk on that. Uh, let's talk about the uh, performance of the television here. So when I turn it off, so for example, I just turn this off. You need to hold the uh, the power button here for at least uh, five to 10, 10 seconds and then switch it off. Now turning this off will disable the uh, Hey Google feature. So you can't actually say, Hey Google, turn on TV because it's actually turned off. So there's no, the microphone is not working, only the remote. So if you turn it on, so let's turn it on, and let's see how minutes, how many uh, minutes it would would up. All right. So you have that little animation there and probably like 15 seconds to boot up 15 or 20 seconds to boot up to make it you know connect to the Wi-Fi and uh, you know uh, load the, uh, the operating system properly and now we have a new fresh uh, start here so uh, for example, let's go back here. I really love uh, this uh, this series. It's called uh, uh, Bad and Crazy. All right. So as you can hear, guys, uh, that's just regular speakers we have here. But the speaker really is uh, it's, it's a nice speaker. Uh, what I can say is it's like having a dedicated speaker. So no, 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 no. 다 챙길 수가 있구나. 안전한 독거자 이런 거 정도 챙겨줬으면 됐지. Let's switch to the audio. Let's see how fast it is converted. 시간 높다면서 여기 여기 이거 찾는 사람들 많던데. Alright, so as you can see, it's not responsive right now. Just I did a fresh restart. So far, uh, now it's now. Being responsive so I do apologize if I haven't restarted the TV so if you just want to turn it off and you just hey hey Google turn off TV all right turning H2O off all right guys so if you're looking for a affordable uh, 55 inch TV or a 65 inch TV consider getting Skyward now it's not like the leading brands like LG and Sony and uh, Samsung but as you can see guys it actually gives you a good experience watching on your couch and it actually has voice command which hey Google turn on TV got it turning on H2O all right so I actually named uh, the TV as H2O you can actually uh, rename that by you know going to the settings and re rename it now for the android system guys i think this is you can update this but let's just go to the android settings here let's see what version it's running on so uh all right so let's see device and preference like about all right now the, the device name that i have here is h2o so that's that's why it's saying that you can rename that now the version of the Android that we have here is version 10. Now, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be supported to version 11, but just talk to Skyward, uh, see if it does that. Now, uh, should you get this TV? Now it's a cheaper price than 
the leading brands like Samsung, LG, Sony, and it actually looks stunning. It's not super perfect, but it's stunning enough to please your eyes. And it, it's a 4K panel, which is, it's great for a viewing angle of, uh, you know, a farther viewer, viewer angle. But if you're like, if you're going to use this as your monitor and you're sitting close, like two meters away from it, you'll actually notice the pixels. But if you're just really looking at it closely like that, you'll notice the pixel. But if you're around over here, the pixel is now gone. It's super sharp if you can, if you, if you can see that. Now, and if you're sitting here on the couch, it looks 4K, right? So that's it guys, if you're interested in getting an EV here, you can, you know, go to the nearest uh, appliance center and get one or you can order online by checking the link in the description box. Again guys, my name is Hanson Dennis and see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>